It says that distinguished Toastmaster of Kenya. Have you ever faced death coming to engulf you, and you realize this is it? At the bottom of the Ganges, in Rishikesh, under a rabbit, I realized I felt the death approaching me, and I closed my eyes and prayed for the last time. It was a normal working day, boring day in the office when someone at the at 6 p.m. said, "Let's go Rishikesh." And five of us, of us said yes. <laughs> at 7 p.m., we were at Lakhpat Nagar Market for, to buy clothes. And by the 9 p.m., we were, we were out of Delhi <laughs> on an unplanned adventurous trip. The distance of 250 kilometers was fun as we traveled the whole way by talking nonsense, talking at the dhabas, and having amazing tea and amazing parada, sometimes parasha. Around at 3 a.m., we were on the stretch on a single lane where the only light was the light of our car. Dark forest on either side of the road and there was no sign of humanity. Dishant was driving the car. Suddenly, something occurred to him and he turned off the light of the car. And all of us felt uh, a skip of in our heartbeat because it felt that we, are, we were moving in dark at 40 km per hour. The moment he turned back the light, there was a bang and the car stopped. A blue bull had hit the car. Had he been at slightly higher speed, the car would have been in the air and we much up in the air. Mm -hmm. We reached the case at 5 a.m. somehow with bonnet of the car half inside. We tried to sleep for two hours and then were out for rafting one of the adventures I love most. Excited at the bank of the river, we signed the document that stipulated they are not going to bother if we die in the river. <laughs> we received instructions for everything that may happen during the rafting. And we ignored everything as if these are the terms and conditions of insurance policies. <laughs> Too nice to know that all the extreme situations are going to come. Three minutes later, there came a time we were waiting for. We were under the lack of river between the high green mountains, rejuvenating the cold hills, splashing water one on one another and shouting to the loudest of our voices. The instructor shouted, Jinmil Jinmil Dhum Dhaka. <laughs> and all of us put uh, grabbed the paddles on our both of the hands and shouted back, Who ha who ha <laughs> You are right. Yeah. Let's start back after me. Jinmil Jinmil Dhum Dhaka. Jinmil Jinmil Dhum Dhaka. Thank you. After a few moments, we saw torrential white water among large rocks. It was a rapid. Uh, where water turns white because of the force. But as we entered the rapid, we were being played by the force of the water, like a football. So our raft turning 26 degrees to the right and then 38 degrees to the left and then 43 degrees from, from the front. And we were not understanding what was happening with our body and our pulses and heartbeat on the, were on the extreme acceleration due to fear and excitement. <coughs> we got our life back as we receded through still water. Hanging between excitement and fear, we crossed the more rapids to reach roller coaster. One of the dangerous rapids ranked as 
three, uh, grade three out of four in terms of risk and danger. We were again being played by the water like a football. 28 degree to the right and 43 degree to the left and then 180 degree to the left front. <laughs> and gravity worked. <laughs> Suddenly I did not know what had happened. I found myself in the bottom of the river fighting with the rocks, fighting with the force of the water, hitting the rocks and it was the bottom. After some time, I found myself on the surface because of the life jacket. I saw, had the glimpse of my, our empty boat, but the force of the water brought me back to the bottom. I could have used the, I, I don't know how to swim, but I would not have used that skill against that ominous force of water. There, at the bottom of the river, unable to breathe, unable to hold my body, and helpless against the force of water, I thought, this is it, and closed my eyes for the last time. But you know, I did not die then. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had to give a speech on this. <laughs> After five minutes of the struggle up and down, I was again on the surface of the river and uh, was able to grab the rope of the raft. I saw the structure, but he was, uh, and cried for the help, but he was busy in finding his lost paddles. After securing his paddles, he secured me and the rest of us. Still, God, one of my friends was missing, and we could not find him. We found him after five kilometers, and the rest of the other rafters saved him from floating on the water. Seeing the death so close I made me realize how precious my life was. The entire life we keep warring, complaining, crying, fighting, taking revenge, warring for future. And we forget that within the matter of few seconds, everything may be material. So, dear lively human, any of the moment can be this is it. Hence, the secret is live your moment, every moment, as this is lived. And you know how to enjoy it, don't you? Yes. Yes. So, let's shout out for the for our new beginning. Chilmil chilmil dum daraka, hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Chilmil chilmil dum daraka, hoo-ha, hoo-ha. Hoo-ha, it's not a problem.